Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done many videos on MacroMonster.com's eCut. It's like 60 bucks, and I've I have played around with it. It's so much fun, and uh, in some real life situations, it can really uh, save you a lot of time. But just like this one right here, and, and you could do this in Corel, but you couldn't do it this fast if you wanted to multiply and space it apart. So you tell it how big your laser bed is and you want to fill the area with this size name tag, a quarter of an inch apart. And in that short of time, it filled up your laser bed with name tag. I actually have it set on setting crosses. Uh, let me back up here and take that off. I haven't really figured out the advantage of that. You have to select a shape and then take off, draw crosses. And have it at a fixed angle so my laser bed is 40 by 28. So I can either do it by fill the area, which will do. Now for some reason it puts it up there, but that's uh, neither here nor there. And then R, you can tell it how many you want. So let's just do this and we'll say I want, I don't want to fill the area, but I want uh, 250 of them. And in that short of time, it created 250 name tags or obstacles or I mean objects. And the other thing in the same little area, you can take shapes and let's just grab this and you can see I filled up my laser bed with different sized rectangles of different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna select them all. I'm gonna to go to rectangle nesting. My laser bed, I want the distance to be 0.1 apart. And look, when I do this, watch how much room it's gonna save you in wood if you were to do this. Now it's gonna take a little bit because there's 808 objects on this page. So it's almost done. And there's also, there's uh, rectangle nesting and then there's just plain nesting for any other shape. Uh, the other nesting will work on rectangles also. But look at the difference of, and in less than, less than half the size of wood, it nested those in there. I mean, it even put some little bitty ones where it has some extra spaces. So if you're just cutting out a lot of different shaped rectangles, you could save a lot of wood. There's also, you could do this with just plain nesting and you can tell it different things and your size of your layout and a bunch of different options. So give that a try. Um, I'm not promoting their product. I have it, I just like it. And this is just one of the many things it can do. Hope that's interesting a little bit. Thank you.